it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. So I wanted to share a new not a card project with you all and I thought it would be fun to kind of take the trend of stitching and use that in a way to be able to make something that you can give as a gift to someone. So that led me to picking out the Circular Stitch Slimline Strip Die from Spellbinders. It's a really pretty die that allows you to do some stitching in a nice long border. So I'm going to start by taking some cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to die cut that border die from the cardstock. So we're going to have a nice long strip that we can use to create a bookmark with. I'm going to put this at an angle inside of my die cut machine as I run this through because it is a fairly long die and it just fits if you turn it on a little angle. Once I run this through, then I'm going to go ahead and remove the die and we have all these nice holes cut into the paper and this is what we'll be stitching on. Then I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. This is the Tim Holtz extra large paper trimmer and I'm going to trim this strip down to be an inch and a half wide. That I found was the perfect width to give me a nice little border around my little stitching design here, but it also is a nice size for a bookmark. Now to stitch these, I'm going to use some embroidery floss and I will use a variety of different designs across all of my bookmarks. That's the fun thing about stitching projects like this is that you don't have to stitch them exactly how I did. You can really change these up and customize them by picking out different colors, stitching in different patterns, and really making a beautiful design that's going to look absolutely stunning on any color of cardstock too. I used both cream and also soft navy for all of the bookmarks that I made today. And throughout the stitching, I did also alter how I stitched each of these circles. So at the moment, I'm stitching these to have a variegated design. So I'm skipping certain sections of each of the circles and then filling those in with a different color of thread. So it creates a two-toned effect. Other times I stitched them solid. And then for some of them, I even did half circles and joined up one half of the circle with another color of thread. Now you don't have to use embroidery floss in all six strands. You can pull out some of the strands and do maybe three strands of embroidery floss. It's totally up to you. I like the chunkier effect of the embroidery floss by using all six strands. But again, it's your preference on how you want to go ahead and stitch these. After I did all of my stitching, then it's time to assemble these. So I took some Simon Says Stamp red line tape and I'm going to put this tape on the back side of my bookmarks, focusing it around all four edges. And this is the 1 8 inch red line tape. It's perfect width to go around our bookmark design. After I have the tape adhered to the back side of my paper, I removed the release papers on that and then laid the bookmark into another sheet of the same color of cardstock. And I'll trim this cardstock down to be the exact same size as the rest of the bookmark. What this did was this hid all of that messy looking thread on the back side of our bookmark. And so now we have a nice clean panel on the back side that is going to make this bookmark look extremely pro. I love how this turned out. It's such a fun and easy way to make something that you can give as a gift to somebody or use as your own. Here are a few examples of the different types of stitching methods I used across these bookmarks. You can see even on the far left, I used some thread to add a frame around each of the circles. So it's really your preference on how you want to decorate these. I had fun playing around with different colors of thread and creating some unique looks. And it was just very therapeutic to sit there and stitch these together. Now, if you want to, you can also leave a little bit of extra space at the top of your bookmark and use that as a space that you can add a little tassel. So I'm gonna punch a hole through that top portion of my bookmark. Then I'll attach this onto another sheet of cardstock because of course we wanna cover up the back side of our stitching with a nice clean sheet of cardstock. So I'm going to adhere this with the red line tape onto that cardstock and then trim this down to be the same size as the bookmark itself. Then I took my hole punch and I'm going to punch through the second sheet of cardstock right in the same place as the first punch. 
Then I'm gonna bring in some ribbon. This happens to be from Tim Holtz. This is some of his velvet trims and the purple matched really well with the colors in my bookmark. So I'm going to use that to create the tassel on the top of my bookmark. So it's just another look that you can give these bookmarks. You can have some without tassels and then some with. I think it's fun to be able to mix and match and create different styles and each bookmark looks completely different, which is a lot of fun. So I love how these turned out. They were fun and easy to put together and it's a great project that you can spend a few hours doing and then have a beautiful gift to give to friends or family or even use it for your own reading. I hope you enjoyed this project and were inspired to try to create these yourself. Be sure to check out the supply list in the video description below. I have all the, pro I have all the products that I used listed there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration. I will see you all again very soon, but until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.